Barcodes keep us in line. They track our data, our location, our thoughts and our feelings. Hard to know Maybe if I They suppress our daydreams, but they also repress our nightmares. They allow us to think clearly, keep us from retaining too much information, irrelevant information. It would all make sense. Tattoos used to be injected into our skin. Intricate designs often have little meaning. The human race used to rely on Facebook and other now forbidden things to record their personalities, their likes and dislikes. They checked into locations and forgot to change their privacy settings. There were dangerous people who would steal identities and stalk little girls. That's why the barcodes are so important. You can't steal someone's identity if it's permanently on your neck. At least that's what the authorities tell us. They tell us that the reason the human race self-destructed was because we filled our heads with information. Just that is We're constantly reminded of what happened to our society in the years before we were reborn, before the control was put in place. In 2020, consumerism reached its peak. The highest ever prices were paid for even the basics. Materials were running out and the richest 5% of the population began to saturate the minds of the public with jealousy. Society gave in to desire and greed and began to steal and bomb and fight. We forgot the necessities and instead wasted away buying and consuming all we could get our hands on. In 2022, we weren't satisfied with consuming things. We began to consume each other. The system crashed. Something had to be done. I live inside a putative panopticon. They're the prison guards and I'm the inmate. I do not know exactly when they are watching, so I must be on guard 24-7. I must never let on that I am different to all the other simulacrums of what should have been mankind. The RSA guards make sure nobody rebels. At birth, you were given your barcode. During your first 16 birth years, you were scanned at all stages of life. Scanned during dentist appointments, scanned when you enter a library, or a classroom, or a shop. Scanned during your sleep, quietly mapping your life into your barcode. At 16, your parents give up their right to your identity. The girls are offered up at a selection event, auctioned off to the highest bidding family. You are judged by your purity. Your barcode tells the bidders everything they need to know. Where you have been, if your thoughts are pure, if you have a high fertility rate, your talents, your sins. It's not slavery or objectification. The fathers choose the career path of their son, there aren't many options. The heteronormative society prevents us from doing anything we don't need to do. We all work for the richest 5%. They choose our jobs, lives, property. Free speech is a sin. We do not need to question things because everything we need to know, we already do. That is what we were born to believe. But I know different. The 5% killed my mother. She was a scientist. She discovered the nanobots that operated the ink. 
They subdue the front lobe, which controls the decisions you make, your behaviours, your consciousness and your emotions. It used to be false consciousness, now it's just science. I am powerless. My mother operated on the nanobots that were already in my bloodstream. Before she could finish, the RSA guards killed her. They didn't know I was her subject and she got me to safety before they could find me. I know they are watching me. I know they know. But as long as I behave, act normal. I wait, for there will come a time when it isn't they're controlling me anymore. Eventually, they won't know it, but it will be I am controlling them. Hello Holly, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. It must be very nerve-wracking seeing your book being turned into a documentary. Thank you for completing this interview with us. That's right. Yeah, it is nerve-wracking, um, especially because the content's factual. Yeah, we heard. I mean, it's based on the recent revolution, am I right? Yeah, that's right. It's based on the 2035 revolution that's just happened that we're all a part of. I just think it, I wanted to clear up a few things that the public might have been confused about, especially about the putative panopticon that we were actually living in. Yeah, I mean, it is quite scary how we are living in such a state of false consciousness. Tell us a bit about what you discovered. Well, um, my sister was a scientist and basically we found out that she hadn't died naturally as we'd all suspected but she'd actually been killed, um, which obviously was quite upsetting for us. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we witnessed the violence that the, the RSA guards put on our sister and it, it really affected us. Um, we never really knew what the RSA actually stood for. Yeah, sorry, what, what does it stand for? Oh yeah, no, sorry. Um, it stands for the Repressive State Apparatus. Um, the guards were in charge of repressing the public. It kind of meant that they were keeping us in line. Um, they did it by telling us like inaccurate information, inaccurate political information, um, and that information stopped any opposition forming because we were living in a non-linear world. She uh, figured out the barcodes and obviously what they controlled, which... The ink contains tiny robots called nanobots, um, and these little robots go into your bloodstream. And once they're in your bloodstream, they release a toxin that has a controllant in it. Yeah, I know, it's scary. I've had mine removed. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, like, I'm going to get mine removed, yeah, actually, I think. And, yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, so the controllant acted a bit like iPhones did back in the old days, yeah. back in 2015. Yeah. Um, and the iPhones and the things basically tracked you and your location so it could tell where you were. Um, and it composed all the data onto something that was a bit like a Facebook timeline oh, yes. back when they existed. Wow, scary stuff to be yeah. honest.